respected brothers, to understand and to acquire the reality of Iman and to understand its prerequisites, this is farz this is obligatory upon every mu'min, upon every believer. All the faraiz of deen, whatever commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have received, are primarily and first and foremost based upon this. That deen will come into existence. In this day and age, Hazrat says, to the proportion that there is a requirement that effort of Iman is to take place, in proportion to that, to that extent, there is negligence found in the Ummat. We have not understood it as a necessity and we have not understood it as our requirement and as our need that we have to make the effort of Iman and that we have to give the Dawud of Iman. Unfortunately, nowadays the Ummat thinks that Dawud is for others. This Dawud of Iman that is taking place, we feel that it is for the benefit of others. We have not understood that it is our requirement, it is our need. Whilst we find in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Kalima la ilaha illallah, the true proponents of this, and those who are rightful heirs of this, and those who have to make the effort of this, primarily, first and foremost, are the believers themselves. Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, Alzamahum kalimat al taqwa that we place the kalima of taqwa of iman upon them. We made it compulsory for them. And they were the heirs, they were the inheritors, they were haqdar, they were the rightful recipients of it. So this dawah of iman, acquiring the reality of kalima and of iman, first and foremost, it is a requirement of ourselves, of every believer. Hazrat Mawlana Yusuf Sahib Rahmatullah used to say, nowadays, the believers, the mu'mineen, they regard the field of the effort of iman to be others. Dawud of iman, they have made others the tar- target. We feel that whatever dawud is taking place is to bring others onto iman and Islam. But the reality, my respected brothers, is that one is the dawud that is given to others, and the other is the dawud and effort of iman that is made on ourselves. Iman definitely has to be propagated to others. But others, those without Iman, they will be attracted towards Iman and Islam when they will see true Iman and Islam in the believers. And true Iman and Islam will come in the believers when the believers themselves, making themselves the target, will give the Dawud of Iman and the Dawud of Kalima. Because amal of deen will never come alive unless our iman is made. When we will make ourselves the target and give ourselves the dawah of iman in Islam, Islam will come alive in our lives. Then others will see the mushahada, the visible representation of iman in Islam, and that is how they will be attracted towards Islam. We find my respected brothers, the Hazrat is reiterating this point that Kalima la ilaha illallah, the dawah of this haqdar and those who have to, who are in actual need of it, are the believers themselves. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, aminu. Allah ta'ala is saying, O you who believe, O reciters of Kalima, bring iman. What is meant? Make, give the dawah of Iman. Make the effort of Iman to bring the reality of Iman in yourselves. Hazrat, if you look in the lives of Sahaba Kiram, this was a common practice amongst them. That they would meet one another and they would say, let us sit down and let us make the muzakara of Iman. Let us revive our, our Iman by excessively reciting La ilaha illallah. They would encourage one another to sit in the halqa and in the gatherings of Iman. In fact, my respected brothers, Hazrat says, I am digressing. But this Masjid Abadi, making our Masjid Abad, the 
primary maqsad and object of that is that we have to establish the halqa of iman. That is why we find amongst the virtues of this in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that those who you see coming to the masjid and making the masjid abad then give witness, give shahadat that they have mu'min, that they have iman. The reality of iman has come in them. So that every fard mu'min, every believer, we have to free time and ourselves sit in the halqa of iman in our masjids, thereby building and strengthening our iman. And we have to go out, encourage others also, and bring them into this gathering so that their iman is also strengthened. This effort of iman on ourselves, this is farz ayn this is compulsory upon each and every one of us. We find, my respected brothers, to acquire that level of iman, which will cause us to stay away from the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which will cause us to stay away from that which is haram. That level of iman is farz ayn is compulsory upon every one of us, that will keep us away from haram. Hazrat says that haram and the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes in the life of the believers because of two things only. One is when the love for the way of life of others comes in our hearts. And the other is when we become overawed by the way of life of the disbelievers. We have to make so much of effort of iman. We have to bring so much of yaqeen on Allah that it raises our iman to that level that we are compelled to stay away from the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The love of the way of life of the enemies of Allah come out of our hearts. The awe being overawed and affected by the way of life of others comes out of our hearts. That is why Hazrat Mawlana Ilyas sahab, Rahmatullah Ali used to say that if this effort of mine, nowadays people call it Tablighi Jamaat, but in reality, in reality there is no name <clears throat> to this Jamaat or group. Let us understand, my respected brothers, that work which is universal, and that work which is the responsibility and requirement of every mu'min, can never ever be attributed or downgraded to the level that you call it the work of one jamaat. Every fard mu'min, every ummati, this is his responsibility. But as Malna Ilyas sahab rahmatullah used to say, that if this effort had to be given a name, then the name of this effort would have been tahrik iman The effort by which the iman of the ummah is brought into harkat and brought alive. sahaba kiram they used to make halqas in the masjid and they would take, make the talks of iman in order to strengthen the iman. My respected brothers, the more we will reject the ghair of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more we will give dawat, to the oneness of Allah and that Allah Ta'ala is doing, to that extent, we will be protected from the dawat of batil. Around us, batil is making an effort to draw us towards the ghair of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. That is why every mu'min, every mu'min on a daily basis, it is his zimedari and it is his responsibility that he gives the dawat of iman. This is farz ayn upon every mu'min. Unfortunately, Hazrat says nowadays, we are still caught up 